There are a lot of ways we might know that the 2012 presidential campaign has begun, and one of those markers came last night in late night. Former half-term governor Sarah Palin appeared on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, and former one-term liberal Republican governor Mitt Romney sat down with David Letterman on The Late Show. Governor Palin, in fact, really went out of her way to be self-deprecating. She poked fun at the whole fiasco of writing notes on her hand. And after chatting with Leno for a while, she was reintroduced so that she could do a stand-up routine. Thank you. I am so happy to get to be here. This is a thrill of a lifetime, really. And Alaska being so different from Los Angeles. Here, when people have a frozen look on their face, I find out it's Botox. <laughs> it is so beautiful here, though, so warm, beautiful. Back home, ooh, it was, it was freezing. It was five degrees below Congress's approval rating. <laughs> on the show, oh, what an amazing athlete. I watched him do a double McTwist 1260, and the only other people to do a double McTwist 1260 was last week, the White House on healthcare. <laughs> I watched the Winter Olympics, skiing, fighting on the ice, skating, bobsledding. In Alaska, that's our morning commute. <laughs> about that amazing closing ceremony. It was beautiful. The minute I saw the giant moose, I remembered, hadn't cooked anything for the kids' dinner. <laughs> and that's because I've been really busy. And I have been really busy. Picked up a gig in Las Vegas at the Legend Show, playing Tina Fey. <laughs> I'll be the speaker at the NRA convention. So be there or else. The truth is though, I'm glad that I'm not vice president. I, I'm glad because I would not know what to do with all that free time. <laughs> On the other coast, Governor Romney did his best to charm. He relayed the story of a recent flight in which he was slapped by an agitated passenger. Romney said the guy, quote, broke my hair. Romney also fended off questions about well, you know. It sounds to me like you're going to run for a president again in 2012. No, no, no plans for, yeah, for that he, at this you know, point. I'll keep the door, you know, keep the door open. Of course he's running. Are you available? He's running. Are you available, no, David? No, no, no. I can tell by the cologne. <laughs> I, um, and what about that Sarah Palin? She's not ready to be president, is she? She's terrific. She really is. She's terrific. She's got energy. She's got energy, passion. By the way, you know, be careful what you say about her, by the way. I mean, I've, you know. I've had my... Yes. Oh, she... <laughs> I've had my... <laughs> she, uh, she has... She has a rifle, you know. Yeah, I mean, I know. She... I know. It was, of course, Leno's second night back on his late night throne, and the ratings reflected that Leno trounced Letterman and or Palin trounced Romney. Let's bring in actor, author, satirist, musician, radio host, Harry Shearer. His latest CD is called Greed and Fear. It's now downloadable. <laughs> Harry, uh, you are also a television historian. I'm a sage, Lawrence. And so I'm my question is... I'm a freaking sage here. That Sarah Palin doing stand-up on yeah. The Tonight Show. Yeah. Is that the first time in Tonight Show history that someone was doing stand-up for the first time? Um, you usually have to be you, successful. You have, to you have to do years you have to, to do get clubs. to do stand-up. You have to do yeah. 1 a.m. at the yeah. improv and, and kiss Bud Friedman's you-know-what for a while. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. All, all I could think of when I saw that was Bill Clinton on the Arsenio Hall show, probably the first network gig he'd ever had as a saxophone player. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Kind, of, kind of congruent, you know? Yeah. It's, it's like that paved the way for this. Now, uh, you know, I am... Uh, I am, as you know, the hardest working substitute guy in show business. <laughs> you are, indeed. Uh, I was in the building yesterday in Burbank do, hosting this show while Sarah Palin downstairs was appearing on the, on the Leno show. And now here you are here when, tonight. When she was on Saturday Night Live, I was across the street in the studio uh, when she was doing Saturday Night I just Live. Wish it's I, owned, just, I just wish I owned American Airlines stock. But what this means is I didn't, I took the red eye, I didn't get to see her on The Tonight Show yeah. or, or Romney. But I mean, so judging stand-ups, you've seen a lot of stand-ups go on The Tonight Show for the yeah, first time. Yeah. Judging stand-ups, what, well, what did you see? Uh, I, I give her a B for uh, uh, delivery and a C minus for material. I would fire her writers. But aren't they the Leno writers? 
I don't know. Yeah. Were they? Well, well, we'll have to get at that. Well, yeah. I mean, we don't know for sure. Yeah. But I mean, that was that was lame material. I thought, you know, watching her perform, I now understand why TLC canceled the Miss America pageant. Have you been to Alaska? I have. You've been everywhere in the world. That's why I was confident you've been there. Yeah. I've never been to Alaska. I have so, been a, so it's I don't. Beautiful. I don't speak Alaska. Yeah. I don't well, know. Well, she doesn't speak Alaska. I, what does we weed mean? Oh, I, uh, Democrats, I, I, I can't get the. We should explain. She, yeah. She, she said, I'm going to keep writing on my palm because it gets the Democrats all, we, the liberals all we weed up. And she said that before, this we weed thing. I know that's, that's I a think verb that's, that I don't get. Uh, I think that's code to the non Tea Party Republicans to say, I'm going to be. Contrary to what you think now, I'm going to represent the restoration of the George H.W. Bush era of kinder, gentler Republican. He of the doo-doo. Uh, he used to say, oh, uh, deep doo-doo. Uh, it's wee-wee equals doo-doo in Republican speak. Okay. All right. Uh, now, what about the... It's uh, called code. you got to read the code. What about the late night war? In day two of uh, now day three of of Leno, Leno versus, versus Letterman, Letterman again, day three. again, okay, again, back to your professor of television history. How do you see it at this stage? This is a uh, restoration. <laughs> this is more <laughs> yes, like indeed. English history. <laughs> yes, indeed. This is like Oliver Cromwell to, had sixty years, and then mm -hmm. good night. We're going back to the uh, monarchy. It's you know they they always say that late night and early morning are the two most habit dominated areas of television because obviously you're here in another time slot and you're doing fine, so habit isn't right. an issue here. But uh, it's like, okay, Dave uh, ruled while uh, you know, the, the Cromwell era was going on at, at the night show, and now the, the monarchy has been resumed. I think you have to see it in, in royal terms. And what do you, uh, in terms of last night's rating, is that a Palin versus uh, Romney rating or a Jay versus Dave it's rating? It's a Baptist versus Mormon rating. <laughs> And so for the, don't don't invest in the special garment is what I'm saying. And so for the for the potential Republican primary, if, I, if, if that's the first night of it, I bet on Romney. I just because I believe in the Republicans' proclivity to always elect the next person in line. And he's been very he's been he's the guy relatively patient as yeah. things go. She's she's you know 2016. Wait your turn, babe. And isn't it for them this? It seems when you look at every Republican candidate, there is something within Republican terms, mm -hmm. something seriously wrong with that candidate. <laughs> you know, within their own measurements for these yeah. things. Uh, and and well, so he's got the Mormon thing. What do you think is, is wrong with? Well, her? he also has the liberal thing. He was a liberal governor who passed oh, a Scott liberal. Brown, Scott Brown was a liberal, but they forgot that in a second and a half. But can they forget Romney's health care plan sure, in, they the, in the year that they want to run against health care? Didn't Scott Brown vote for it in the Massachusetts Senate? Uh, yes, he did. Thank you. And and you forgot about it until I, I forgot. It. it took you to <laughs> jet in here and remind me. Harry Shearer, my Santa Monica neighbor who I only see in, in other York. parts of the world. <laughs> That's right. Harry Shearer's new CD is Greed and Fear. It's available now. A great pleasure to talk with Thank you, you, Harry. Lawrence. I'm glad you could make it into the studio. Coming up, comedy history.